So to test our homepage results, I'm going to create a simple method. So I'm just going to create another test method right here, and I'm going to call this dev test, and then we shall test if homepage uh, returns. So let's say if the homepage returns the post list. So in this case, we're going to come and say post list. This is going to take itself. Now, since we've created some post objects, what I'm going to do is to actually give these names so that we can access them by using self. So I'm just going to come right in here in our class definition before within our setup. I'm going to call this our post one, and I'll also call this post two. So I'll just come and say post two, and this is basically going to be our two posts. Now, a lot of people complain about how I do not organize my code or how I do not follow PEP8. So, to fix that, I'm going to first install Black and then basically set up Black to be the one to help me to basically organize my code and format it. So, I'm going to save and all I have to do is to first install Black. So, I'll just do pip install Black. And I'm going to do that within our virtual environment. So, this is just to help my code be organized. So once Black is installed, I'll just basically go ahead and reformat all the code that I've written so far so I can be able to point to a point to a set to a specific folder so I can just maybe do something like Python my dash M black so and then I point to a specific folder for example in this case let's say if we test that to reformat our post the code that we've written in our post folder this will go ahead and basically run and go ahead and reformat all the files that we have however I have one error that is found in line 43 of our press over of our test so i'm going to basically start by passing this for now and then i'll go ahead and reformat everything that we have in there so that our code is now organized so just like we see i've organized my code and now it's a bit organized so let's go let's begin by testing whether these results or our posts are being returned on our home page so what you need to do first is to basically go ahead and try to make a request to our home page so the way you do that is basically very similar to what we have here so i'm just going to copy this and then paste it right here so this is basically our response uh, as we make our request to our home page and once you've done that, then the next thing is to go ahead and basically assert if any of what we have up there is contained within our response. So the way we do that is by coming right here and saying self dot assert, and then in this case we're going to use assert contains, and then we're going to check we're going to provide our response object, and then we're going to check if our self dot title or actually it's going to be self dot post. True. So this is going to be self. Or let's just say we are going to check for the string representation of our post, or which is actually going to be equal to our title. So we may do something like self. But in this case, we may access our post, or <coughs> it's actually going to be self uh, post one, and then this will be post two. So what you can do is actually access our posts by saying. Uh, let's say we're going to access our sample post 1 and sample post 2 so let me say that we're going to get this string so I'll just access them and then come here instead of saying uh, self.post because we don't have this as an attribute of the class I can just basically paste in the text or the sample post 1 as our first post and then I'll also check if our second post title exists so I'll just say assert contains and then in here, I may just come and say response, which is going to be our response object. And then I'll provide our string title of sample post two. And I go ahead and save. And let's try to run this test and see whether it will pass. So when I pull up our terminal right here, and try to run our test once again. So 
do that with Python, many do it POA test. So in this case, when we run our test, we see that we've run two four tests, but we have one test failing. So we couldn't find sample post one in the response that's being returned in our response to our home page. So let's go ahead and try to return all these posts on our home page. So to do that, we're just going to go to our index.html and then go ahead and basically write or our posts by looping through them. So the first thing we shall do is to basically query them in our view and then return them with our response. So we shall go to our views.py and then within our view function, we're going to make a simple query for our posts. So I'll just come and say posts is going to be equal to. So we're going to import our model by saying from dot models. We are going to import, so this will actually be import our post model and once you have our post model now this is going to be posts being equal to post dot objects dot all and once we've had that then we can basically pass it within our context by saying we shall have our context be context so this is actually going to be a dictionary having a key of posts and then the value of that will be the posts query set now that we have that, we can also go ahead within our index.html and return our list of posts. So the way we're going to do that is by basically coming right here. We can provide our h1, which says welcome to our blog, or and then we can also go ahead and provide an h2, and this is going to be these are the latest posts or something like that. So these are the latest posts. So once you have this, then you can write a for loop that's going to return all these posts. Now I'm going to come right here and say that we're going to say this is going to be a, or oh, let's just actually write a for loop. So using genera, I can also go ahead and write a for loop and this will return a for, but this is going to be the one for that ginger templating or the Django templating syntax. So I can say for post in posts, so this will actually be posts. Then I'll basically return a div of class post. And when we have this div inside here, we can go ahead and maybe write our HTML. So in this case, I'll basically provide our title, which is going to be an a tag. And in here, we are going to go ahead and provide our, we're going to go ahead and provide our title so I may just come here and say self actually it's going to be post dot title and then we shall also go ahead and basically provide our post body so I'll just come and say paragraph and then we shall say um, this is going to be our post body so I'll just come here and say post dot body so once we have this then we expect that this is going to return our post on our home page now let's try to run our tests and when we run our tests in this case, uh, we see that our test is running. Now let us go ahead and actually see our actual home page. So when you go and see our server, our server is running, it doesn't have any issues. So when you head over to our browser where we actually have our tests and let's say we head it over to localhost 8000. It's going to return for us our home page and our home page is going to have the different titles that we basically provided so for now we don't have the bodies let's check why we don't have the bodies so i'll try to visit the admin site and basically see if we've made some mistake so right in here um we have the post body so we have the post title we also have the post body it seems like we made a mistake in our template but let's try to see so it's actually body not whatever it was when we go back this side and refresh we now see that our titles are being returned with their respective bodies so we can also go ahead and maybe truncate the words and so that we basically have some uh very few uh what's being written in the post body for example you can just come right here and then say use the filter of truncate words so you can just say truncate words and then we basically specify that we want to use 30 words for each of the posts that we have so when you refresh 
we now see that each of the posts is going to actually return only 30 words on our home page so for now we've been able to test our very basic home page and i hope to test the detail page in the next part